Hey, Mana family, and welcome to Morning Mana. I've entitled this week, Prayers I Pray. I'll be sharing with you key prayers that I've learned to pray. I'll talk a little bit about them, and I'll apply them back to Scripture. Today, I want to share with you one of the most powerful prayers I know to pray. Come your kingdom, be done your will. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this prayer, as it's a part of the Lord's Prayer from Matthew 6. But why is it so important? Good question. Prayer is a vital part of our relationship with God. Prayer reorients our hearts to Him, and it helps us submit ourselves to the authority of God. Praying this particular prayer postures our heart to be in a correct orientation to God. Listen as I emphasize two key words. Come your kingdom, be done your will. Jesus modeled for us how to pray in Matthew 6, but in Mark 14, he practices what he once preached in the Garden of Gethsemane. He's about to be arrested. He's crying out to God to make uh, another way because the burden of the world's sins are weighing heavy on him. But watch how he positions himself before the Lord. Going a little further, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he says, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me. Yet, watch this, not what I will, but what you will. Manna, we have a will. We have desires. We have plans. But when we pray this prayer, we're submitting ourselves to Jesus and we're placing him on the throne of our hearts. And when Jesus is the Lord of our lives, that's when we experience life change. Let's practice that prayer right now. Lord Jesus, we worship you and we declare, come your kingdom, be done your will in our lives as it is in heaven. We put you on the seat. We put you on the throne seat of our hearts, of our lives, and we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Manna, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.